Morning, Sean. How's it going? Hey, not bad. So we've got a lower unit to find. Yeah. <laughs> Scotty is punching in the coordinates to our treasure, our got hidden her. treasure. Guys, we are doing a recovery mission. Since the last time when we recovered all those musky baits, we got a bunch of messages saying, hey, can you cover this, can you cover that? We weren't able to make all of it work today, but we're gonna try for a couple. We got two pretty expensive items, one of them being a lower unit. We're gonna tell you the story on that. We're actually gonna call the owner and get the exact story and find out where it is. Secondly is a fishing rod, and we'll give you the story on that as well. But first, we're gonna call the owner of item number one, and then we're gonna go scuba dive for it. Green Adventures. Boom. Morning. Morning, Sean, how's it going? Hey, not bad. So we've got a lower unit to find. Yeah, <laughs> with a uh, stainless steel prop on the... Well, what the motor was it off of? Uh, 250 uh, G2M word. So it shouldn't be a tiny, it shouldn't be too small, it should be a pretty big item there. It should be. Um, <laughs> I was going south when I hit it, so it should be on the north side of the... Of, uh, okay. Of the boat, of the reef there. Um, I wasn't going that fast. Okay. So. Well, the re reef's a pretty easy thing to scuba dive. Like it's, I think we have a decent chance of finding it. I, I haven't done, this is like my first time doing a recovery thing like this, but uh, I don't know, I'm feeling hopeful, so. You know, I know it's been a couple of years. I don't know how much, you know, stuff gets covered with whatever algae or stuff like that, but it'd be a pretty big unit. And it's a stainless steel pot, so if yeah. any, a little bit of shiny to it still. Well, we could see musky lure still, so I'm thinking the lower unit should stick out a little bit easier, so. We'll probably be diving in whatever half an hour on the spot, so I'll I'll shoot you a text if we're successful. Certainly appreciate it, Jay. <laughs> no problem. And if and if we do get it, then you can uh, pick it up at probably KWO if you're out here. Yeah, are you fishing that this year? Yep. Oh, good. Well, uh, either way, we'll uh, we'll reach out and touch base when uh, when we get there. Sounds good, Sean. Okay. All right. Have a good Thanks one. A lot. Cheers. Okay. Stay Bye. safe. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right. We got the details. He hit it at half plane, which is like the worst. Yeah. That's when your boat is just like, oh. Uh. Hopefully the ice didn't take it. Yeah. Only one way to find out. All right, that is the buoy. K17, nasty one, heading out of town. They weren't sure what side to go on and uh, they, picked, they picked the wrong side. There's a closer look at the reef. We're taloned right on the edge there and you can see there's the buoy and they, yeah, went on the, the wrong side. but. One foot contour is pretty sweet to see exactly where this reef is. So you can see the buoy there. Not too big of a reef. We are near town. You can see town right there. So visibility is gonna be not amazing. There'll be a little bit of current. There's a, a fish over there, probably a musky. So yeah, we might, might see fish here. This would be a good musky spot, but uh, luckily not too much boat traffic at seven in the morning. So we thought we'd dive this spot first where we head further down the lake to find the rod, but. So what's the game plan if we find the lower unit? Uh, if we find it, Maybe. then we will tie a rope to it right there. And we'll come up to the surface and we'll just take it from there. Shouldn't weigh too much. Yeah. So, uh, then we'll put it in the boat. Hopefully it's not got any oil in it. Yeah. That's about it. Pretty easy. Sweet. Just gotta find it. Well, we lost my GoPro, we found my GoPro, that's how we spent the first 10 minutes of this time. I thought it was gone for sure. Well, that would have been very good. <laughs> what do we cover things, not lose things, eh? Oh, man. <laughs> Is that it? I don't know. There's a bunch of Really? Alright, we are back in the boat. Uh, we were unsuccessful, but what did you find, Scotty? Oh. <laughs> well, we found a lower unit, just not the one we were looking for. Found this gem. Nice trolling bait. That'll clean up nicely. Absolutely. Yeah, a couple bottles, 
We got, yeah, that lower unit's old. That's that's an aluminum prop, not stainless steel, like our friend Sean said. So sorry, Sean, we failed you. We are not able to find the lower unit. But next stop, we are looking for a fishing rod. This happened just a couple days ago. A couple were out fishing, musky fishing, one angler, we won't name who it was, went backwards, hooked one of their walleye rods or bass rods, launched it into the water, launched two of them into the water. The other angler was able to recover one, but one's still at the bottom. So uh, yeah, we'll see how it is. It's gonna be about 15 feet of water and it's a Stratic CI4 with a Fenwick rod. So it's a nice setup, probably like a 300 and $350 setup, so. All right, so we have the spot punched in. There's the waypoint. So we're gonna drive over and try to side image it. It's kind of a rocky bottom here as you can see, but if it's in the mud, we might it might show up. Maybe, maybe, maybe. So there's the coordinates if you guys want to try to find a fishing rod if we don't find it. All right, so Scott, we are, I can cursor over to the waypoint, uh, two feet from the waypoint. So that's probably pretty good. It's amazing, <laughs> really. All right, this this will be a little tougher because it's a, it's a soft bottom here, so we might stir up the bottom. But uh, we're gonna suit up again and try to find this rod. I I have no idea. Twenty feet's gonna be a little on the deeper side, but we'll see. So last time I dropped off the back of the boat, I uh, I lost my GoPro. <laughs> we found it right by my feet. I think I think we have the footage of it, which was insane. I thought that was gonna kind of be a downer for the day, but we we found my GoPro. So all right, it's got you in first, and yeah. I'll follow you. <laughs> How are you feeling, Scott? Successful. <laughs> it's a brand new outfit. Yeah, there you go, Stratic. Yeah. Should we give it back to them? Oh, I, I guess we got it. Eh? <laughs> Scotty, you're a legend. Oh, big day. We found a lower unit. We found, well, kind of, not the right one. We found a bit of a fishing rod. This reel is. Oh, that logo is worth everything. The Fjord. Fjord. Uh, that's ancient. A um, couple bottles and hold it up, Scotty. Yeah. That's probably, yeah, 300, 400 bucks. Yeah, is the owner's gonna love it back, eh? <laughs> yeah, they're gonna be surprised, I think. Yeah. Well, just good thing that they pressed that waypoint. I think that was the biggest thing because we basically dropped the anchor probably within 15 feet of it. Yeah. So it's really nice to have that waypoint. So, I mean, that was. So if someone drops something, drop a waypoint right away. Yeah. There should be a slogan there like, drop it in the lake, drop a waypoint, um, <laughs> something like that. Because, yeah, a couple other people sent me some items that they dropped, but if you don't have an exact waypoint in this dirty water, it's pretty tough. We, like I said, I showed you guys on the graph, our waypoint and where we anchored was, it said two feet apart. So we went down, I found the glasses right away. We found a pair of pliers uh, and we found the rod. So if you guys have, uh, you know, this isn't something we're doing professionally, this is just for, for kicks, but if you have something that you dropped on Lake of the Woods, you know, maybe we'll have time to go find it, but shout out to Green Adventures. If you guys want to go on some sweet dives or any sort of outdoor activity, uh, hit up Scott and the crew there. But have anything else you want to add? No, I just, it's nice getting up early because we have the rest of the day to go goof around too. Nine o'clock, we can still do whatever we want with the rest of the day. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Scott. Thanks. That was a great day. That was awesome. Oh, and guys, don't forget to wear your life jacket. Except for when you're diving, it's pretty tough when you're trying to go down. Anyways, see you guys next time. <laughs>